Good evening. My name is Vincent Cicillo, and I welcome you to this year's Lake Fenton Commencement Ceremony. This evening's event incorporates school tradition, recognition of individual students, anticipation of the class of 2018, excitement by family and friends, and cell phones. At this point, I would like to ask everyone to please silence their phones. Joining us tonight are the Lake Fenton Community School Board of Trustees and Officers, Administration, Class of 2018 Officers and Representatives, Teachers and Staff. I would like to take this moment to thank all the parents, families, and friends for making this evening so special. Now, if you would all join me by standing for our national anthem, the national anthem will be led by Mr. Ryan Gonder. Tonight, I have the honor of introducing two student council, student council representatives from the class of 2018. Please give a warm welcome to Savannah and Sydney Crick. Thank you, Mr. Cicillo. Good evening, Lake Fenton. Sydney and I have the honor of introducing the onstage guests attending tonight's commencement ceremony. Thank you, Savannah. It is my pleasure to begin with the individuals seated to my left and your right, beginning with Lake Fenton Board of Education Student Representative Taylor Godlewski, Board Trustee Mr. Bob Hutchins, Board Trustee Mr. Christopher Fletcher, Board Trustee Ms. Catherine Carswell, Board Treasurer Mr. Orlin Newth, Board Secretary Mrs. Heidi Howison, Board Vice President Mr. Mike Sislo, Board President Mr. Larry Godlewski, Director of Curriculum and Instruction, Ms. Kate Van Houten. Superintendent, Mrs. Julie Williams. Principal, Mr. Christopher Belcher. Assistant Principal and Athletic Director, Mr. Vincent Cicillo. Class President, John Ora. Class Vice President, Randa Lee. Class Secretary, Mackenzie Rampey. Class Treasurer, Matthew Tomchek. And Class Representative, Megan Lynch. Student Council President, John Ora, will now talk about our class quote. Thanks. Thanks, Seb. All right. Good evening, everyone. This year, the 2018 seniors had the opportunity to vote for a class motto that encompassed the character of this graduating class. We unanimous, unanimously chose, you have one chance, one life, and what you do with that is up to you, by Peyton Sawyer. As seniors, this past year has been a culmination of all the lessons and our efforts of our years at Lake Fenton. As we now take our first steps into adulthood and branch into our different paths, we are faced with choices. We only have one chance to live. As we leave here today, we will continue to grow and mature. We will be faced with the reality of creating our own paths. The Lake Fenton Class of 2018 will go on to do many things across all corners of the world. As we continue, we will remember our Lake Fenton pride 
and the eminent footprint we leave on the world is a reflection of those that have taught us. What we choose to do with our uncapped potential is all our responsibility. We all have a unique set of tools that we will use to find our niche in this life. Our adventures have just started, and I'm excited to see where life takes us all. Student Council Vice President Randa Lee will now talk about our class song. Thank you, John. Good evening, administration, teachers, family, friends, and of course, my fellow graduates. My name is Randa, and I have been given the honor of presenting our class song. The song that our class chose is Little Wonders by Rob Thomas. This song was chosen to bring back memories whenever it is heard in the future. Memories like the first day of kindergarten, where the girls wore their hair in pigtails and the boys gelled their hair up because they wanted to be cool. And we were all so excited but so nervous because we were finally going to the big kids' school. Fast forward a few years and we're in third grade. The playgrounds left us muddy and with one too many scratches and the assignments no longer contained coloring. The years fly by and we're now in middle school. These are the three years most of us want to forget because they were awful. And then high school. These memories are the ones that will stick with us more so than the others. Memories like when our football team won the homecoming game and how we never seemed to win tug of war during spirit week. It is here that you met friends that you will have for years down the road, and it is these friends that you shared some of the best times of your childhood with. These are the memories I hope you remember every time you hear this song. Now look around at these faces you've seen so many times. Some may be your closest friends and others you may have barely acknowledged, but take this time to do so now because this is the last time all of us will be here together. We've gone through so much together and have created so many memories, and I hope that through the rest of our lives, these little wonders still remain. Student Council Secretary Mackenzie Rampey will now talk about our class color. Thank you, Randa. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, I have the honor to announce and speak on the class of 2018's color. At the beginning of the year, we all had the opportunity to assemble in the auditorium and vote on our class color, and together we chose turquoise. When most people see or hear the color turquoise, they think of the ocean, the sky, some jewelry, and probably decorative stones. But when I think of turquoise, I think of the turquoise colored bedroom I had in middle school. The meaning behind turquoise was brought to us from the leaders of the Aztecs. In fact, it is considered one of the oldest stones out there. It brings us power, nobility, and wisdom. Speaking of wisdom, shout out to all of our valedictorians. Also, it is the perfect color to add a little bling to your outfit whenever you are feeling gloomy. In the past, warriors used it as a protective shield when going out into battle. Now that we are fresh out of high school, going off into the real world, and since none of us have really adulted before, we could all probably use a generous amount of turquoise in our newfound lives. The color turquoise brings us good luck when reflected off the light of a new moon. And although there isn't one tonight, I should know, I googled it. <sighs> Hopefully, one day when you are out and about wearing your turquoise accessory, there will be a new moon and it will guide you to wherever you need to be, class of 2018. Thank you. I'm not done. <laughs> Student Council Treasurer Matthew Tomchek will now talk about our class flower. Thanks, Mackenzie. Young, bold, and powerful are a few words to describe the Stargazer Lily and also the class of 2018. This class has been nothing short of incredible and wonderful, much like the Stargazer Lily. The Stargazer Lily was chosen by the class of 2018 because of the beauty of the flower presents along with the powerful words that characterize it. The Stargazer Lily is, one of the, as one of the meanings for the Stargazer Lily is to be optimistic and reach your goals no matter how big they are. The same stands for the class of 2018. Our class has shown their strength and ter determination through everything we have done for our, our four years of high school. Sorry. A little nervous, it happens. <laughs> As the Stargazer Lily also stands for limitless opportunities, this class has taken advantage of all our opportunities we've been given. I have no doubt that we'll make the most of every situation from this point in our lives. 
Bege we begin our next chapter in our lives as young and little clueless individuals, but as we've done this far, we will learn from the mistakes as we go. Through trial and error, we have learned right from wrong, good from bad. We will make the most of every opportunity that is brought before us. And as we know, true opportunity does not come looking for you. If you can't find it, then create it. I would now like to introduce Mr. Larry Godlewski, President of the Lake Fenton Board of Education, and Mike Sisso, Vice President of the Lake Fenton Board of Education, who will now introduce the Val Victorian to class in 2018. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. This year, Mr. Sinsolo and I have the honor of introducing six valedictorians. What an amazing group of talented young individuals to hold this honor. The class of 2018 valedictorians are Paul Campbell, Savannah Crick, Rachel Learman, John Ora, Trevor Rosario, and Jarrett Trombley. <clears throat> we would like to take a moment to recognize each of them for their accomplishments. Paul Campbell is the son of Rodney and Pamela Campbell. Paul's student activities include National Honor Society, tutorial student, or tutoring students with academic difficulties in math and science. He played football, volunteered with the Lake Fenton, or I'm sorry, Fenton Chamber of Commerce, and Paul will be attending Kettering University and majoring in chemical engineering. Let's give Paul a nice round. Our next one is Savannah Crick. She is the daughter of a Scott and Christy Crick. Savannah's student activities include student council, key club, volleyball, and National Honor Society. Savannah will be, uh, excuse me, attending Oakland University and pursuing a degree in the medical field. Let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> Our next one is Rachel Learman, who is the daughter of Kevin and Kara Learman. Rachel's student activities include band and cross country for all four years, track, National, National Honor Society, and Key Club. Rachel plans on attending Kettering University and majoring in biochemistry. Let's give her a nice round. I'll turn it over now to Mr. Cicillo, who will introduce the, the, uh, the remaining three. All right, thank you, Larry. I'd like to introduce now Mr. John Ora, he is the son of Afonso and Julie Ora. John's student activities include captain of the varsity soccer team, president of the student council, National Honor Society, and Key Club. John will be attending the University of Michigan and majoring in biomedical engineering. Just give a nice round of applause to John. Our next is Trevor Rosario. Trevor is the son of Edward and Tanya Rosario. Trevor's student activities include National Honor Society, Key Club, Robotics, Football, and Student Council. Trevor, Trevor will be attending the College of Engineering at the University of Michigan. He is pursuing a degree in, degree in electrical engineering. Let's give him a big round of applause. <laughs> and Jarrett, we didn't forget you. <laughs> So Jarrett Trombley is the son of Sean and Janice Trombley. Jarrett's student activities include football, wrestling, and weight training. Jarrett will be attending North Carolina State University studying biomedical life sciences. Let's give Jarrett a big round of applause. Now, please give us a chance here to welcome our class of 2018 Val Victorians. Now, Paul, come on up. Thank you, Mr. Godlewski and Mr. Cicillo. Uh, speaking today, I would like to address a couple people that have helped me to reach all my academic achievements at Lake Fenton High School. First, my twin brother, Hunter Campbell. Always having someone to support me and help me study through everything has been the most helpful thing throughout high school. Uh, secondly, my parents for always supporting and encouraging me to do my best. The two of them have always told me that I should give my 100% effort in anything I do and do well in school. Not for us, but to do it for yourself. This statement has always remained in the back of my head and really made me push myself to strive for greatness, even when at times I don't feel like completing heavy workloads that I've been tasked with. Third, my best friend, Tyler Matta. Having someone that I can unwind with and hang out with while taking a break from my studies had made my achievements more bearable. 
be it playing Magic the Gathering with him or just hanging out, talking, and laughing. I have really appreciated all the things he's done for me. And finally, all my teachers who have helped me, having inspirational people who care for the subject and the students they teach has pushed me to want to learn more and do well in their classes and has also prepared me for my future. Once again, thank you to all these people for being there for me from the start of high school to help me reach this point. Good luck to all. Hello, everyone. My name is Trevor Rosario, and I'm going to reflect on our childhood memories. You know our more optimistic days? When we were young and immature and rambunctious and terrorized all of our teachers. <laughs> like an eighth grade camp, when uh, on the first night, a student, who will not be named, attempted to shave off another's eyebrow. <laughs> uh, we have so many stories that we could talk about. It probably take up all of the night, but I'm just going to tell one more. Like eighth grade camp when we were come back from one of the activities and the bus broke down and we just sit there for an hour, maybe it was two, just waiting for help. So we just sit there you know, playing games, talking, you know, just trying to pass the time, but we got ice cream's compensation. <laughs> See, we haven't always just been delinquents. We've been friends to one another. Many of us have also gone out and achieved some amazing things already. Now, whether it was a class award or you just won a game that you thought the odds were against you, I don't count being a wrestling state champion because that's just way too easy. Sorry, Jarrett. <laughs> I appreciate you still. But whatever it was, we've made a name for ourselves, and we will continue to pave the road to success. Now I'd like to turn things over to John and Jarrett to talk about the present day. When Trevor said he was going to roast me, I didn't think it was going to be that bad. <laughs> but I'm Jarrett, and this is John. And both of us are here today to speak about right now. As you know, Paul and Trevor have already shared about their past, because their glory days are in the past. <laughs> but on a real note, we are gathered here today, right now, to celebrate all of our accomplishments and all of the memories we have created over the past four years. Over my entire high school career, I have learned so much about not only myself, but also I've learned at least one thing from the uh, other 150 or so students sitting here today. John and I may only have been here for the last couple of years, but we were welcomed with open arms. All of us here have worked very hard to get to where we are. My high school experience was very eventful, kind of like dropping in tilted towers. <laughs> Throughout the last few years, I'm sure all of us took an owl a time or two, got caught in the storm, and had to rebuild our base. However, if there is any one thing I learned throughout my experiences here at Lake Fenton, it's that you can always be picked up by a John Wick. Our message to all of you is to try and not dwell in the past, nor focus on the future, but to live in the present. As our current president once said, I try to learn from the past, but I plan for the future by focusing exclusively on the present. It was my pleasure squatting up with all of you. We challenge all of you graduates uh, to devote your time to living in the moment and giving your best effort every day. By utilizing our tools and resources we've collected here at Lake Fenton, we can learn from the, fat, from the past and focus exclusively on the present. Our time at the high school may have been short, but it was a crucial time when many, many memories were made. The plan for the future is a product of our collective efforts today and now. So continue to grind, to work, and practice your craft so that your future can be determined as a result of these efforts. As we all go our separate ways, apply the skills you have learned over these four years. Whether it be school or work or sports, continue to improve and focus exclusively on the present. Thanks to all of our teachers and most importantly our families, because without you, none of this would have been possible. Jared and I would personally like to say thank you and best of luck in the next four years.
Now we are reaching a point in our lives that is marked by independence. Whether we are shipping off to Washington or staying close to home, we are now taking the first steps towards being the keepers of our own lives. We'll have freedom, but with freedom comes responsibility. Our lives will no longer have that structure, structure we've known for the past 18 years. Sure, mom and dad will still be around to offer advice, but our life is now in our hands and it will become what we make of it. Our next few, few years will be the ones where we begin to define ourselves and discover who we really are. It won't be easy, but we'll never know what's around the corner unless we peek. So, fellow students, start taking your risks now. You may step out of your comfort zone, way out. You'll get scared. Sometimes you'll be uncertain. You'll be tempted to bail out for something more secure. You won't be able to please everyone, but you'll also learn just how brilliant and resourceful you really are. You'll realize how much you have to offer. You'll wonder why you waited so long. You'll finally embark on a journey to create a life you love. And to create a life you love, you need to believe in yourself and your accomplishments. The dawning of new challenges and opportunities is only limited by your imagination. Paint your dreams on a canvas. Keep adding to it. Keep changing it along the path you are taking. Dreams are constantly evolving, rising and falling, changing course. So add to your canvas and never settle for anything short of a masterpiece. You are a gift to the world. There are things the world would like to see, hear, and feel from you. You are an artist regardless of what you do because the world wants your craft. Do not deny the world this craft. We decide how our talents can be used in the world. This is our destiny and we hold it in the palm of our hands. Embark on the rest of your life and be passionate, loving, and optimistic. Parents, as you watch us graduate today, don't mourn the children that are now all grown up, but be proud of the adults we've become and all that we have already accomplished and support us through all that we have yet to achieve. Fellow graduates, our time is limited, so don't try to live someone else's life. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, follow your heart and intuition. All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. On behalf of myself and the other valedictorians, we like to thank you. We would now like to introduce Lake Fenton High School's principal, Mr. Belcher, to address the graduates. Thank you, Savannah. Good evening. Let me begin by simply congratulating the class of 2018 on getting to this point. There is no doubt that today is a day each of you have looked forward to and a day you will always remember. It is a day to celebrate both what has been accomplished and the journey that lies ahead. But it's also important to remember that you have had help getting to this moment and to thank those that have been there for you along the way. At this time, it is my honor to continue a long-standing tradition in Lake Fenton. Parents, guardians, and teachers Please rise and be recognized for all you have done over the last 18 years to make today a reality for our graduates. Please rise. <laughs> graduates, please rise and face the audience. Class of 2018, I ask that you now find your families in the audience, hug them, kiss them, and thank them for the role they have played in your life up to this point. I love that tradition. I would now like to honor a different group that also deserves recognition. This senior class has seven students that have enlisted in the armed forces. At this time, I would ask, I would invite all audience members that have served in the military to join our newly enlisted graduates and stand and be rec recognized 
both for past service and future service. Thank you for your service. As I prepared for tonight, I reflected on the year we have had and have struggled to put into words the type of class that we are here to celebrate. There is no doubt you have grown tremendously over the years and certainly are a unique class. As we have already seen, this class has six valedictorians with a perfect 4.0. That alone is incredible. The class of 2018 has also experienced the joys of victory as well as the lows of defeat. They are the rare class to win back-to-back -back powder puff football games. And the even rarer class to never once win the middle school spirit stick. They have obsessed over everything in their lives, from silly bands, to webkins, to club penguin, to vines. But what is clear is that Lake Fenton is filled with amazing young people, and this class epitomizes that fact. From the moment I arrived in Lake Fenton, I have found it to be a school district that has very high expectations, both for its staff and for its students. It's a place where you earn your keep, Nothing is given, but much is expected. Our students have continuously risen to the occasion all year long. Some of our accomplishments this year include 44 students have earned scholarships totaling more than $476,000. This class has logged almost 2,700 volunteer hours of community service. It's a long list. 35 graduates have earned 228 college credit hours through our dual enrollment program. Student Council has raised close to $2,000 this year and have also collected over 300 toys to donate. Starfish collected over 1,000 items to donate to the North End Soup Kitchen and participated in both the Unity Day and Step Out for Change walks. Key Club ran multiple can, food, clothing, and toiletry drives volunteered at soup kitchens, and even made and delivered cards for sick children at Genesis Hospital, our band. Our band has performed with the University of Michigan Jazz Ensemble at the 15th annual Thornapple Arts Council Jazz Festival, at the Gridiron at the University of Notre Dame, at a Detroit Pistons game, in the Silver Bells in the City Electric Light Parade, and twice at Flint Firebird Games. Four students have received awards and recognition at the Regional Scholastic Art Competition. Our marketing classes sold over $1,000 worth of buttons to promote school pride and simply being nice. That money was then donated to organizations like the American Red Cross Hurricane Relief Fund. Our CTE students scored, again, above the state and national averages on the NOCTI standardized tests. Our journalism class moved to an online platform and are getting more exposure by the day. We have 26 students, including nine seniors, that will be traveling to France to explore French culture later this month. <laughs> Athletics, and it was another good year to be a Blue Devil. For the 11th year in a row, our softball team earned academic All-State. We had two senior state champion wrestlers, one of which won the state championship all four years of high school. Our football team won the GAC Red for the second year in a row. Our competitive cheer team won the GAC championship, and this was the fourth time in five years. Our cross country team qualified for the state meet for the second year in a row, and just yesterday, we had a student win a state championship in the high jump.
That's a pretty impressive list. This class clearly has left its imprint on me, on the school, and certainly on the community, and every class that follows will be challenged to find similar success. But what really defines this specific group of students? Is it all of those accomplishments? Is it all of these valedictorians? Is it that they left Lake Fenton a better place than they found it? Truth be told, it's all of these things and much more. I asked the class sponsor, Mrs. Suzette Osminski, what she thinks best defines this group, and it took her six ideas to sum it up. Intellectual, eclectic, vibrant, athletic, fun-loving, and adventurous. As educators, our goal is to help our students prepare for life after high school, both socially and academically. And if the class of 2018 lives up to the description from Mrs. Osminski, I have little doubt that not only are they ready for what's next, but that they are ready to thrive. I know I speak for all staff members in Lake Fenton Community Schools when I say that I am so incredibly proud to have worked with you and to have been a part of your lives up to this point. Thank you for making our job so easy most of the time <laughs> and for remaining true to who you are. Class of 2018, as you prepare to walk across this stage and officially graduate from high school, I want to remind you that you are now and forever will be Blue Devils. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. At this time, the class officers will present the class of 2018. Yeah. <clears throat> John William Ora. Randa Renee Lee. Mackenzie Nicole Rampey. Matthew Paul Tomchek. Sydney Lorraine Crick. Savannah Jane Crick. Megan Adams Lynch. Caitlin Marie Shoemaker. Anthony Mark Zellick. Adrian Elizabeth Sisk. Belarma Mungsaya. Avery Allison Potts. Allison Ann Pethick. Jennifer Lynn Bond. Bria Ryan Donnell. Catherine May Drager. Rachel Ann Learman. Trevor James Rosario. Jarrett Hunter Trombley. Paul Allen Campbell. Cameron Michael Ralph. Hayden Ryan Jelinek. Hunter Lawrence Brown. Madeline Louise Hansen. Hebatula Ahmed Eckel. McKenna Lee Cullimore. Dawson Christopher Carpenter. Yeah. 
Aiden Scott Flick. Andrew Mitchell Aller. Parker Allen Gopal. Austin Christian Wood. Dominic Dean King. Seth Alexander Novak. Cherokee Autumn Payne. Madison Kathleen Head. Aaron Allen Mertz. Hayden Bryce Spriggs. Hannah Claire Bowman. Nathaniel Alton Douglas Demlo. Austin James Williams. Madison Nicole Boyle. Bailey Anna Corre. Jaden Eric Yerk. Caprice Haley Ballant. Gary Lee Turgeon. Christopher Thomas Tomzak. Jackson Charles Navadomsky. Brendan Mitchell Carr. Christopher Delar Smiley Hall. Andrew Robert Lyons. Jacob Daniel Adams. Alyssa Lynn Gillespie. Kanisha Simone Golson. Jillian Elise Sloan. Coda JC Dolak. Jadis Javanis Harvey. Michaela Sue Hunsinger. Kalani Akua Anela Kavini Lau. <laughs> Olivia Eden Osminski. Jasmine Lee Boone. Lindsay Leanne Case. Victoria Lynn Clamorous. Elon John Hagenstein. Hannah Soren Gardy. Aaron Riley Easel. 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 Sorry. Mark Anthony Tolbert. Cameron Nicholas Ballard. Maya Destiny Love. Julianne Marie Craig. 
Troy Alexander Lebowski. Doris Desiree Davis. Austin Coriel Gilbert. Hunter James Campbell. Colin Michael Colburn. Taylor Lee Cooper. Kaylee Nicole Terry. Raya Adele Kearney. Tiana Marie Brown. Micah Renee Phillips. Kylie Lori Stowe. Alec John Copeland. Bryson Dean Nugent. Andrew Ryan Van Velen. Zoe Yong Bung Hollison. Skylar Elizabeth Burton. Ryan Joseph Gavigan. Bradley Arthur Templeton. Amir Jamil Jahari. Luke Anthony Tomchek. Deswan Michael Spicer. Michael Joseph Ruby. Bryce Raymond Jagowski. Michael Stephen Wells Shisky. Madeline Roberts Forsberg. Samantha Elaine Kessler. Madeline May Mori. Austin Michael Webb. Lauren Elizabeth Wissing. Haley Joe Webster. Archangel Richard Wilson. Cameron Alexis Jarzinski. Catherine Michaela Kingsbury. Hannah Nicole Henderson. Emma Grace Hemingway Hill. Autumn Nicole Evans. Shannon Lee Carter. Jenna Marie Carter. Valerie Helen Nelson. <laughs> Alyssa Marie Hopkins. <laughs> Tyler Lee Nelson. <laughs> David Kenneth Perkins. Lachlan Andrew Hepburn. Drew Evan Hobson. Eric Michael Somsky. Gage Charles Tyrion. 
Jaden Lee Zaitchek. Jacob David Klein. Jack Reese Miller. Noah Matthew Hoover. Lauren Ashley Kiefer. Lauren Nicole Clark. Jenna Marie Woodell. Hannah Porritt. Brooklyn Faye Arend. McKenna Lee Bacon. Melissa Leslie Hathon. Avery Claire Gibbs. Michael Daniel Burnham. Vakia Katiana King. Evan John Kushner. Matthew Irwin Mueller. Muller. Muller. Tyler Logan Matta. Joseph Reagan Nagel. Christian Matthew Bennett. Jade Elizabeth McGee. <laughs> Elijah Roland Bordeaux. Shane Thomas Maloney. Dennis Dwayne Julian. Elijah James Oubre. Sophia Sandy Thompson. Colin Alexander Brees. Sean Edward McCluskey. Addison Lene Smith. Carly Peyton Haggart. Aaron Michael Vickery. Is that everybody? Good evening. Before we close the ceremony, I do want to recognize a few people. First of all, Suzette Os Osminski, could you please stand wherever you are? Where is she? <laughs> Su 
Suzette is the class sponsor for the class of 2018, and she has done a phenomenal job organizing, and all of this is in great part to all of her efforts. And I know I'll pay for that tomorrow at work, but we had to acknowledge her. So thank you so much, Suzette. We also have um, one of our longtime teachers retiring this year. We have four retirements, but one of them is here this evening, and I would like to recognize her because in all of her time in Lake Fenton, she's only missed one graduation ceremony. Um, Mrs. Andrada. Linda, you have been a tremendous role model for lots of teachers in our district and administrators, including myself, and I appreciate the friendship and the leadership that you've provided over the years. You will be missed. Thank you. And I know that Mr. Belcher recognized our staff, but I would like to acknowledge our other administrators that are here this evening. Uh, Mrs. Shaughnessy, West Shore Principal, Kathleen Conover, Tory Hill Principal, and Dan Ferguson, Middle School Principal. And are there other, I know there are other staff members in the building that didn't stand up, they're not in their robes because their children might be graduating. So if anybody that's in the crowd that works at Lake Fenton Schools, would you please stand so we can acknowledge you? <laughs> Thank you so much. Graduates, you've heard several speeches tonight talking about your future and how today ends a chapter in your life, and it truly does. In a few minutes, I'm going to announce you as alumni from the Lake Fenton High School, and the next pages in your book are empty. This chapter closes, but those pages are there for you to write, and write it well. Make us proud, as I know you will. And thank you for all you've done for Lake Fenton. You have certainly set the bar for classes to come. Thank you so much. So when I started this year, it's my first year as the superintendent, I talked to the staff at our opening day about the Lake Fenton family and how we felt we had gotten away from our family atmosphere and how important it was to us to get that back. And I think we've done a good job this year bringing back that feeling of family in our district. And for us tonight, we're graduating 154 of our family members, and we don't take that lightly. When you walk away tonight, you will always be a part of the Lake Fenton family. So graduates, please rise. As the superintendent of Lake Fenton Community Schools, I hereby certify that the students of the graduating class of 2018 from Lake Fenton High School have met the requirements set forth by the Lake Fenton Board of Education in the state of Michigan to receive their diploma. Graduates, please move your tassel from the right to the left. Graduates, turn and face the crowd. I present to you the graduating class of 2018. You are now alumni. We're ready for music. <laughs> Let it 
let it go Let it roll right off your shoulder, don't you know The hardest part is over, let it in Let your clarity define you in the end We will only just remember how it feels Our lives are made in these small hours These little wonders, these twists and turns of fate Time falls away Turn